Hello, welcome to Jadekind Gaming. My name is Adam. Today I bring another Dwarven Forge unboxing. A very large one from uh, Wildlands. This is the Escarpments Mega Pack, which of course, you know, you'll need some, uh, some good luck picking this up at uh, one of the limited restocks they occasionally do to get this exact configuration, but it will let me show a large number of the escarpments all at once and I picked it up because I like trying to get them just the the giant sets where it's all the different uh, pieces I mean if we look here at it it's got it's got all sorts of stuff um, all variety of things so we're open this up and I bet there's a bunch of boxes inside. There's also styrofoam spacer inside. Okay. Five. Two, three, four. They're numbered. And they can't number them, have me not just. Stack them up to go in order. Okay. So let's start with inner box one. So this one has a number of things. Easier just to open it up and find out. Including, okay, some of these. These, all right, so three of them. Yeah, here are just some straight cliff ledges, which of course can be built offset. I mean, you could just build them all in line, but then this thing. But I mean, maybe you want that. Maybe that's your your step to get up. But you can offset them, offset them completely, send them back. These are. This is like a nice basic example of what is an escarpment. So bottom, uh, we got magnets. If you notice, the magnets are all set back. It's because it's designed for you to sort of set them like this and perhaps you have a train tray or stilts holding up the back so that you can have this little ledge. Of course, you can just set them back by half of an inch and that, or if you keep them in line, I mean, it really sticks out over top of themselves. So it's kind of designed like it's come on, probably set back at least in half of, half of an inch. Could be the full. But yeah, different sort of layouts for them. But because of that, they put the uh, magnets in the back part there. Um, and in case things are seen through whatever, or if you make like a channel of like, they've carved them, I mean, because ultimately, that definitely doesn't look natural. But if you want to set up an area where they have like, m manufacturing like, quarried an area, carved through stone, you can obviously make it by using that. These sides. Um, and there is bits of greenery. And these are six by ultimately three you can only tell three if you go to the bottom but it's two up top and then that last one is kind of utilizing the fact that it it goes out you know i guess three is technically like right to about here so some of it isn't the full three two two and a half whatever but two playable spaces on top by six across um, and there is a hole here, which we will get to when we get the parts for that. Little bits of moss and greenery all around. Let's get to a new piece. Okay, actually, here's a piece. We get three of these 
square pegs. I can go in there. Why would I do that though? Then there are three of these, which a single person can stand on. And these, which have little bits of uh, wyver stone, which in their world is they, oh, it causes rocks to float. Um, so a little piece of it like this has it, but you could also, because there are longer pegs that can make it where it's sticking out here. That's why the pegs are queer. But with a short one like this, it can just basically be this precarious spot off the side where you can uh, insert an extra extra spot, extra ground sticking off the end there. And our last few pieces I don't, I don't remember. The, I mean, because these are dead side in the back. Can be flipped around either way. Very broken up bits there. No greenery on one side, not on the other. On this one by, still dead side in the back. So one by two and a one by one. Which, I mean, obviously it can be used in various spots if you floor height still at the back and just need to raise it up a little bit or something like that. I mean that obviously can work. I feel like these fill in other spots as we go so they may come back. But these are well, whatever. But ultimately yeah just little bits of stone filler um, as well. Inner box two. Get some more stuff. I think it's got to one more of. Yeah. Putting. Ah. Oh. One more of these. Same as before. Um, but then also a couple of these. So these are little sticks. These are another thing that can go in this, well, another little square peg at the back. These are just brown sticks. So if you want a root or whatever sticking out there, let's say someone has to hang from, <laughs> that, that is an option as well for another, um, Climbing option on the side of the cliff side here. We also get two of these. These could say terminate or turn here and end. Um, and give a good climbing option. So if someone needs to climb to the top of a level, can be used for that. Uh, now on the other end, these these are not, because these are three inches one way, but only two inches the other. So if you put it into back here, it's way set back. Um, so I mean, there are filler pieces here that I think we'll get and then probably the next box. Um, if you want to do it this way and just have it be like this, but also then if you want to, you know, keep it from being quite as even and offset things by an inch, it lets you do that. And this piece here, of course, yeah, so it terminates down to the ground with some good steps. Central anchor magnet, greenery, and it has a hole here, which there, I don't know if this set has any, but there are, in addition to, there are these clear pegs that allow for rocks to stick out of the side of things. There are also clear pegs that allow rocks to be like sitting up in the air, um, which I think will be a different set I'll have to pick up later on. But 
but it has a spot where you can put those. So got a couple of these. And finally, this box has some actual just corners, some curves. Two again, okay. and this. You know, if you put this here, it goes to the back and this side. So this is not offset. So there, where this was, see, so it's different way because technically both can be used to cur to curve, but you know, a bit of a different way. You have another one of those holes, so you can put this here. Or of course, the tree branch, or when we get to the plugs. Magnet in the back and center. Flat stones. Four playable spaces. And it kind of juts out for the additional distance on either end. Um, kind of juts out and in. Of course, you can. Offset things in certain ways, but yeah. So there's a turn, and we get to inner box three, which includes the plugs, which is an interesting story. Oh, and I think also the uh, oh, cut it well enough. A few things here. Um, what do I want to grab? I want to... Yes, I want to grab this. And this. Okay. So starting with... These four identical pieces. So, as I was saying before, with this shorter piece here, or if you put it to the front, there's space. Well, here's a piece that it can then go next to it to even things back out and continue onward so if you want to use this just as normal normal one of these corners with a different look to it that would let you do so so this one flat 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 uh, the anchor magnets are completely outside here um, this front bit here is flat so we haven't seen any like that they're all they all jettison on an edge here before getting down so you can kind of see where it goes up to that point but then it goes back in this is flat because there is no trifecta ledge for this piece we'll get to those in another another unboxing um, but there are pieces that can go down here and one of the things they can do is flatten it out so if you want to put it in line with other floors it will do so. This one just is like that by default which looks fine because it's only occasional. If you get a whole bunch of these lined up it might look weird but when it's just a one inch point then that's that's fine. Uh, otherwise that makes this a true three inches at the bottom. Um, of course two inches of playable space uh, if you do have it in line with a floor, you can kind of see the height that it puts them compared to the top. If it's not in line with a floor, yeah, so that fills in some gaps. Here is another curve. This curved, this curves. So, again, can be in line on either end, or can be in there. Um, this is the same thing where it has the rough edge all the way to the bottom and it kind of juts out and back in. We have another one of those holes here. You can see sort of the, you know, this just makes a much wider curve. Um, magnets on the corners and sort of inset here. 
This entire inner area is all textured in case you ever end up using something where you do see this. I mean, if you, again, if you make that area where it looks like it was quarried and is unnaturally cut, I guess, yeah, you can have a corner there where things were cut out. Um, but two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, and then basically seven, one space here on the actual corner. Um, greenery and stone. Lovely. What if you want to turn things the other way? Well, again, from the back, looks pretty similar. And again, on the corners and inset, but on the front, it goes the other way. Here's like an S curve. Yeah, so this one, instead of the outside curve, it's the inside. Again, another spot here. I wonder, will this fit in here in the inside? Yeah, you can see kind of thing because it doesn't quite shove all the way in. But obviously things like a tree branch works great there. And more natural curve here, but flat on all these sides. Um, there's a bit of a different heights, height difference here. Six there, six there, seven, eight. And you kind of feel like you have maybe a partial one here on this, but probably once it's up against something else, filling in that space. Um, yeah. last piece in here. These plugs. And these plugs have an interesting story. Because all of the holes in here were originally designed to be square. Like the uh, pegs are. But the factory that actually makes it was like, if we can't make those square, we can't drill out a square hole and, if, and it won't be always the same size if we just put it in there by default. So they're like, if we keep this peg square, it does help keep things from turning. So that helped. But they had like square geometry, which hid well in like the the rough shape of stone. But when it became a circle, it became a little bit more, more noticeable. So they came up with the idea of these little pegs that could be made unpainted. So these are actually unpainted, but are small enough and just fill in natural grass enough that they blend in fine without being painted just to add greenery and cover up the holes. There are 16 in here which are probably the same number of holes there are so if you just wanted to cover them all up you could if you don't actually intend to ever use them for anything but then they're always able to just be pulled out when you need to say put a branch there or whatever it may be. So that was a pretty cool solution and there's a whole little bag of these inner box four includes some fun cave bits pegs, which I'll see if anything actually uses them, but uh, obviously I've had things like bridges but in the past that use them, and there are some things in here that I just don't remember if there are any in this. So, this piece here is two pieces. First is this really awkward one. <laughs> uh, I got some anchor magnets, uh, it's got the flat sides much like uh, this thing does here, but if you notice it's shorter. <sighs> I think that's where these these bits from earlier come in. This here, also shorter. And I think, I don't remember, I think the reason with these being shorter is because they work with some of the um, like cave pieces, like the cave cliffs, which are shorter than the escarpment height. So 
You have this piece, which is like an adapter for this and the waterfall, um, which I do have in another video. Um, but this cave here has this, you know, no magnets, has this cutout in the back. Uh, there is a hole in the back. It, like There is a complete hole through. Nothing would really fit through, but you could... Okay, I just realized you could do that. Which is to say, there is a mini... You, you could you have it backed against something and you can barely see that there's a base in there. And you can have it where there's a mini like trying to reach through that hole. That, that interest, That's interesting right there. So... Which space is there? This fits in right here, and like just like by putting it with here, like you can see how easily these flat bits blend in once you uh, have stuff up against them. But to get it up the height. Things like this work, and then obviously the, just the normal floor behind it. But so that's something you can use those for. And we're actually not done with this. It'll come up here. Uh, we got ooh, one of these. First. Can I find the other one? So this is the opposite of this piece that we saw earlier. This one goes all the way here, but is short from this end. So if you want to use them on either end, you can just use a different one on each end of it. So it is it is the opposite piece to this. Again, so the three inch one way and two inch the other. Um, and not quite the same level of steps, but it's definitely, you know, more of a step than the normal escarpment height. A uh, big platform there that I'd say has two spaces, really one and a half here. Um, back in the middle. And paired pegs right there. So, let me. So, if you take this piece, which there are a couple of which has magnet on the bottom, it can just be stone on the ground, um, and it has little holes for pegs on either end, can use it, use. So just sort of make a spot of ground that is elevated here. Um, and there's a little puddle in this. It's um, kind of like the lighter blue, like the mountain blue kind of look. But yeah. So you can use that. Oh, and we get with those two of these. These are their concaves. So first off, this piece here. Should fit up in here. Yeah. So two magnets in there and this one here. So that'll make that just sort of a enclosed cave. And oh look at that stalagmites. Like that's yeah. So you can do that. Or again, it came out and had the other uses like I showed. Um, you can put this directly like on like a water train tray, and water will go into there. Uh, you actually get like the texture inside of the underside of a cave. Um, if you don't have the plug on the bottom filling that up, then it kind of almost all like th this mini staff is too tall. Um, but like a mini could fit in there. And this is you know flat, flat here. All just looks flat here, which makes it great for things like if you got a fill in the back spot here. So it's just more floor. Nine spaces, three by three, of just filling up the floor there. Wonderful. 
But what if what if you got like the floors coming in here, and and you don't want to use this wide of a concave turn? Then this has one side that has enough of an angle that it kind of can work there to let you do a very short concave turn. See, it's a cave in more ways than one. <laughs> and we got bees, no pieces as well, which again, and then on one side, much like these pieces from before, like they can just be used. Like you can just take your spot, fill that in, and that's a step to help someone climb up. That's like they could, you, again, with a lot of this stone stuff, you can just kind of fill in areas as needed. It can sit up against something and just sort of add texture. Or this side, you can stuff it up in here. Add this in here. And you have what is either like a Zelda style bomb wall, which I haven't thought of until literally holding it in my hand right in front of me and being like, that looks like a Zelda style bomb wall. And I really want to use it for that now. Or just to, you know, have it be like, no, no, it's filled in, that's solid wall, I just needed an extra flat wall. Either way. But I love that as like a Zelda style bomb wall. <laughs> have... I actually didn't know these were in here. These are two by two floors, just normal floors. Um, but they're great for, obviously, because you can put in line in certain areas where you need it. You could get stilts and stilt them up where you need. Um, like I was saying earlier when using this here. I feel like really it is three of them. Just three of them go here. Grab these three pieces we had here. And that is how you make this. This piece level with these. Perfectly. So yeah, that's that completes that part. And looks like the last piece or pieces in here. It's a pair of these. Which would bring this back. This little thing here. Magnet on the bottom. Has a if we bring just a normal one, whatever. You can obviously use it like it's uh set about halfway. Get some height to help have a spot to climb up but on this piece here that has the hole in it this is supposed to have a way that it fits in here like that maybe that not like that there we go <laughs> mess around with it until it slides in like like it's supposed to so where it kind of fills up the hole, adds a little elevation there, um, and just again makes for another short uh, straight bit. But yeah, so you can fill that up with that. And the final box, inner box five. As three four of this identical piece so this two of them together makes the big one like we've been seeing so far so it's basically the three by three again not quite going the full width magnets in the back in the center, 
flat all around. Not wearing that little undercut there. Has a hole there for, again, tree branch or rock or little plug or whatever. One, two, three, one, two, three. On the top. Yeah, so this is just another bit, which lets you, you know, when doing things where you're stacking multiple of these, it lets you offset them by half so that this piece, you know, like, so that the noticeable geometry doesn't um, remain so noticeable. So, just a smaller one. And then the final two pieces are stairways. This one first, because this is the one we knew about first. Uh, this is... Okay, it's full height. I thought it was maybe shorter. But no, it's the full escarpment height. Uh, it is flat at the front, so it does not have that undercut. That means it will sit nicely in line with things. Um, few spots here even like this little um, bit of rock right here helps it where you can kind of balance them any like over top of the stairs when they're climbing up there but uh, yeah and all four corners for the magnets got the tree stump here nothing attaches to it no, no hole or plug on there. Um, yes, yeah, so you gotta got the stairs going this way. Then this one, this is a piece actually made by uh, Stefan Picorni, who like started the company back when it was like resin stuff and doesn't make most of the stuff now. Most of it's made by their other artists, and he does his own stuff uh, as an eccentric nerd. But uh, the Kickstarter did so well, and he got all excited, and he's all like, I'm going to make a piece for it. And so the, he made this. And so this set was like originally going to have two of these, but now it has one of each. Um, so looking at this, stone around. Spots for minis there. Flat at the front. But if you go up these stairs and you have it like right against it, the stair goes right to here and it comes up here. Or if you go up these stairs and have this right against it, it goes up here and goes here. So kind of making for a, a switchback kind of, you know, either way. If you get multiple, you can obviously keep going and, and you, know, you can offset them by whatever. And there's that piece there. And, Obviously still work so if you need to kind of alter things as you go up you can do what's needed but, um, but yeah so we get a couple stairs and I guess when I set it like this like I'm like right here or you can even have stairs going from if you have some sort of arena on like the top of the mountain and maybe people are walking up from either end uh, just a couple different stairways that, that would work too um, but yeah, beautiful, exciting, bunch of rocks, but it's a bunch of rocks that pile on top of each other. sort of build up structures as we go to make elevated little uh, segments. I don't know what to do. Etc. So allows for mountain climbing adventures and you kind of can offset them a little more as they go up and you know have little spots where minis can 
managed to find Perch. Um, definitely opening up some new options for the type of environments. Um, we'll get in caves and switchback stairs and different ways to have different curves and <clears throat> etc. Lots of rock. Lots of stone. Seems like lots of fun. Um, I will link to Dwarven Forge's website below. So if you want to check it out, you can do so. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. It does help me out, and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Bye.